Before his death, Cameron Boyce had already found success in Hollywood. He was becoming more famous, starring in popular movies and TV shows. But he was most of all a good guy, one who made giving back whenever he could a possibility. He always did that. It was a core value for him. His parents always said he was wise beyond his years, like this moment when he accepted an award for his charity work. But we all, we all go, and um, I hope that all of you um, really think about what it is that you want to leave. We all have material things. We all have things that we own that we like, and we, you know, we uh, treat ourselves and all that stuff. But what you leave should be bigger than you. Oh, my goodness, and boy, is it. Young Cameron passed away in 2019 following an epileptic seizure after, while well, he slept. After he passed, his parents started the Cameron Boyce Foundation. They made it their mission to educate people about what their son lived with epilepsy, and more specifically, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy. They've teamed up with an epilepsy treatment center in Orange County for a new campaign to educate people. Now what it's called. Here's Libby and Victor Boyce. I'm so glad you're with me today. Good morning. I'm sending you both big hugs because I can, virtually at least. I'll take it. <laughs> I, we, look, honey, we all need them. We all, we all need them. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that struck me here the most, both of you, and maybe, Victor, I'll start with you maybe. You cannot deal with a medical issue if you don't know about it, right? And that's what this campaign is so about. Absolutely, it's, it's all about information and, and arming yourself um, with the most you can because um, when you're uninformed, you're, you're really at a, at a huge disadvantage. Um, you need to get with the most uh, elevated uh, assistance you can have um, that would be like a level four type hospital, mm -hmm. um, an epileptologist versus a neurologist. You need to get to the highest level because Epilepsy is very, very complex, and um, it's not talked about enough, and not enough people know what to do, who, who to talk to, questions to ask. So the more information, the better. And Libby, you guys have become essential ex experts right on the ground with, with this, because most of us, I think it's common to know roughly what epilepsy is, but you have taken a master level class in it. Um, so so it, help us understand SUDEP. So help us understand yeah. what it is. Yeah. So um, SUDEP, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, is something that occurs very rarely for people during an epileptic seizure. Um, and Cameron only had a few seizures. Um, and when we went in for medical care, we didn't get a lot of information. Um, and I think it's a, a diagnosis that has a stigma attached to it. Mm -hmm. However, one in 26 people will have a seizure within their lifetime, and it's such a common neurological uh, issue, right. um, but we don't talk about it enough. And there's not enough information that's being shared by the medical community when somebody gets a diagnosis of epilepsy. Yeah. So yes, we have taken a master class. We have uh, learned all that we can. And the bottom line is to avoid SUDEP, is to reduce your seizures. And there's so much information that you need to be armed with as a new person, a person with a new diagnosis of epilepsy. Um, knowledge is power, mm -hmm. being core in your medical team, mm -hmm. being comfortable with your doctor, all of those things are very critical to managing your epilepsy. And we're now realizing that we are shepherds of this message oh. for really the world. You're stewards of it, you're shepherds of it, and it's not a role that you wanted. It's a role you have. We understand no. that, Victor. We understand oh, no. that. Now, here's, here's the part. The importance, as you mentioned, you have to have the right medical team. Is yeah. there enough, is the medical world as knowledgeable as they should be, or is there still work to be done there? We'll go. Okay, there is work being done, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's brilliant minds working on this day in and day out. I think the problem is that it's not, um, it's not one of the main things that's being focused on, say, for example, Parkinson's or cancer or sure. other MS. multiple sclerosis. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's lots of diseases that need a lot of attention, but epilepsy for some reason is not getting the same type of attention. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the research dollars aren't there. Therefore, the, the research 
work is not as intense as on those other problems. So what we're trying to do is put a much brighter spotlight on epilepsy to elevate uh, the research on that. Yeah. But I will say that I can't tell you how many doctors have told us they've never heard of Suda. Wow. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. That's a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. And that's thus, this campaign, right? It is really powerful, by the way. It is really powerful, and we hope it is really impactful. We're happy to also shine our light on it because it's one of those things, as you both well know, there's strength in numbers, right? If you can link yes. arms with other organizations and other, other voices, you get more attention on it. Look, you know, it's not lost on me. Your son, at such a young age, we, we've talked about this a lot, was already doing so much and, and was an old soul. But he also is, was a direct link to the legacy of the two of you. I look at your backgrounds, I look at who you are, who you came from, and it, it, it's not a surprise to us that Cameron was who he was, Libby. Yeah. Yeah, he was an incredibly special human that we was such a gift to us. Um, yeah, he really understood that his roots were, and his family was really like the center of his universe. Yeah. Um, and he just was just an amazing humanitarian mm -hmm. who really stood up for the underdog and the disenfranchised and the people who, um, you know, don't have some of the gifts that he had. And I don't mean material things, obviously. I mean a family and yeah. friends and yeah. a village that was incredibly strong uh, behind him. And that's just, that's what he preached. And it was amazing just to watch him, um, obviously to lose him, um, huge, uh, huge, something we live with every day. That's every always, day. Behind, you know, in the back of our minds. Of course. Um, but that's why, you know, we're carrying on and we're doing his work. And, Absolutely. you know, the, the Now What campaign is what we're, uh, we're launching this month, uh, which is really to help others when they're diagnosed with epilepsy yeah. to get armed with yep. knowledge um, and to encourage that very uh, loudly. And we want to point out that the filmmakers. You know, it's all for the love oh, of Cameron, really. For of course, us. It's all of the course, love that's of the thing that that fuels it, and that's what makes it even more impactful. The filmmakers behind his last movie are donating a portion of the proceeds to the foundation, which we think is fantastic. Uh, and again, all oars in the water, right? Working together Absolutely. to help yes. shine a light on this. Look, I wanted to make sure we got to talk to you during this month, during this initiative, to talk about this campaign, and also just to give you extra love before Thanksgiving, okay? We appreciate you so much, Michaela. Thank and you so much. Your, your, your whole family, family here at Good Day LA and Fox 11 yes. loves the, the pair of you. Keep up the great work. I'm so glad Thank it's you. what's fueling you and it's what's keeping you together and thriving as a team and as a tribe and as a family. All our best to you for the holidays, okay? You too. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. And be kind to others, everybody, oh, please. That part, <laughs> that part, that part. And by the way, here it is on the on our screen. We've got this fancy new place where you can find all of the links to the things that we're talking about. We want you to get involved. We want you to inform yourself. You can go to foxla.com slash links. And